Hey everybody, I'll give you a little tour of the wood yard here. Um, I'm fortunate to be uh, right here along State Highway Route 51, Southern Illinois. And uh, my little firewood stand there, roadside stand, a pile of logs. We got our logs from a local logger here that logs our timber and a uh, real good guy to get along with from down at Centralia, Illinois. And uh, I'm basically sold out of wood. And I know I'm gonna have haters, but yeah, I do pile my wood on the ground. And uh, we're starting to make more for next winter. And uh, so we have a little, little pile of logs here. This is my tree service wood pile. I got a neighbor that had a bunch of trees cut down and there's our wood pile from that. My little uh, five by eight dump trailer, which is handy as can be. We've had that for several years. We use that in our stump grinding business. We can get in and out of small places. My big 16 foot trailer, it's a B and R out of uh, Newport, Arkansas. And uh, we bought that new two years ago. And I can put my stump grinder and my small Ford tractor in it. And, uh, all my logs and everything else. And I'm fortunate enough that is invaluable in the wood yard is my Bobcat 334 excavator with a thumb. And uh, get a pile of ash logs back there for uh, my campfire wood. We service uh, the Vandalia Lake campgrounds and uh, all my ash wood goes to it. And I'll be showing you my Wolf Ridge outfit in my other wood yard in a different video. And over here I got my Kawasaki Mule. We bought it a couple years ago. Carry all my equipment in it back and forth. I just live just a little ways away so I can, I can bring it over. It's a Mule Pro FX. And uh, talk about handy. It is handy. And then here's my tractor. We have a loader, which is broke down at the moment. And uh, we're getting it worked on, but here's my Mahindra tractor. It's been a good one so far. Got forks and bucket for it. It's a 1640 Mahindra. So far, it's been a good one. A couple hundred hours on it since we've got it. And over here's our Dyna SC14 wood processor. And uh, we had a couldn't even tell you the name. We had a processor several years ago that was made in Finland. I'm not sure that I'm not bashing anybody or anything, but it just ended up not working for us. Getting parts for it, that type of thing, was really hard to get. But uh, we've had this thing for, oh, since about 2010. It's been a good one, and uh, it's going to keep going. We're going to keep running it. It's been a real good one. So shout out to Dyna. They're a real good company to work with and American made and everything. So we really like it and it's been good for us. And uh, some of my campfire wood I got under the roof that uh, is going to go for campfire wood this summer out at the lake and out here at our roadside stand. And this little jewel here I use with my Wolf Ridge. And I uh, bought it a couple of years ago. It's an Iron Rhino. Got that from a company out of, out of Georgia. They shipped it in a box. And a uh, little bit of assembly. Took me a little bit to get it going. But uh, it's been a good one as well. A little Briggs motor on it. And uh, really like it. So it's been a good one too take you over here I use a lot of crates um, I just pile them in there set them out they here by the road pretty much sell themselves and uh, they've been uh, good to me they're getting kind of hard to get but uh, I come across them as soon as I can snatch them up I'll get them and um, they've worked real good for us for several years then our last piece here they do, it is just wonderful. It's a 32 foot automated biomass auto convey. Got a little Honda on it. 
and uh, no real problems. We had a bearing go out up there at the top, but uh, got that fixed here last summer, and um, that's basically it. That's how we make firewood down here in southern Illinois, so if you uh, like this stuff, I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like. Make a comment if you want, good or bad. I can take it, so... We're, uh, we're fortunate down here. This is hoping to, right now, fund my retirement. And uh, when I retire in about five years, I'm going to make this my full-time job. So I appreciate it. And um, we'll catch you on the next one. And we'll go to my second wood yard and see how I do things over there. Thanks for watching.